Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jess and I am a no-code consultant with SMB. Today we're gonna dive into ClickUp AI, also known as ClickUp Brain. If you're wanting more productivity within ClickUp, then you really should start using ClickUp Brain. It can help you organize your tasks, automate routine processes, provide analytics, and overall just streamline your workflow. To sum it up, it basically takes those routine tasks that we all hate off of our plate. Something like maybe writing social media posts or drafting YouTube video copy. <laughs> well, that's a thought. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm starting off here on ClickUp's website and I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and click this button, try for free which should open your ClickUp workspace if you're already logged into it. And then you'll see this little window pop up that talks a little bit about it again. It's got all the things that it can do, summarize anything, automated team updates, voice and video transcription. You got your role specific writing assistant. That's gonna be kind of like your ChatGPT. So yeah, lots of stuff we can do. So I'm excited to get into it. So we're gonna click this button, try ClickUp AI for free. And then it should load this little tab for you on the left hand side. And this is where you can actually start working within ClickUp Brain or ClickUp AI. This is going to be a little bit of a hub, if you will. So it's going to have all the options of things that you can do within ClickUp Brain. You've got task specific questions, working within docs, questions, maybe some suggestions of things to keep you on track. What tasks am I working on right now? And scroll down, you've got workspace Q&A, you've got your writer, maybe get some team updates. So lots of options here. This is something that you just need to kind of go in and dig in yourself to see what you need and what is actually gonna help you. Um, we're gonna start off by checking out tasks. I'm gonna switch over here to my content calendar just for this demo. So let's click into this button right there. And this is where you can get answers about your tasks, identify action items, review what you've worked on, gives you some suggestions of things to ask. Let's ask something specific though. Maybe say, give me all my tasks that are currently assigned Oops. to me. Sometimes it can take a second to just grab everything. Here we go. So perfect. Now I've got all my tasks that are currently assigned to me. And this is a very like loose question. So you could be very specific if you want. I can go in. Um, sometimes I'll have some prompts down here at the bottom to be more specific. Can you provide details about the deadlines for these tasks? What are the next steps I should take for these tasks? So let's try one of these Let's say, can you provide details about the deadlines. It's going to go in and tell me this one's ready to publish. This one's complete. This one has a due date. I can even ask, can you please I like to be polite, <laughs> organize these by due date. Perfect. So now I'm going to get a due date on all of them as to when they need to be done. So this is very simple questions. You can be way more specific if you wanted to, but really helpful for keeping you on track with tasks. All right, let's move on to docs. I'm going to click in. Now docs is really powerful. It can do a lot for you. It can really write you anything, write you copy write you articles, write you blogs. You can get summaries of tasks. You could have it answer you questions, find documents within ClickUp that you may be lost. It really can do a lot. So take advantage of it. It's here for your use. Again, you're gonna have some suggestions here. You can also access AI docs in within tasks, which I will show you, not just in the main hub of AI. But let's go over one of my favorite things to have docs do is actually write me social media copy. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's say, write me social, write me a social 
media post about click ups mobile Perfect. So you could just go with this, but I want something a little bit more. I want this is a little basic for me. So now I'm going to go in and say elaborate on its features and put in bullet points. Perfect. So now I have a beautiful Instagram post or Facebook post, LinkedIn post, whatever I want to use it for. I can also take this. There's a few ways you can use it. I can copy and paste it into a task that maybe I already have, or I can actually create a task specifically here by hitting task or turn it into a doc that I could then link to a task. So you can use this, maybe copy this and make it your title. Let me get this one here. And then now you have a full document that you can work with within ClickUp. So let's look at this also from a task standpoint. So I'm actually going to go into this particular task because I have it and once you click in, you'll see where the description is. It actually is a little button that says write with AI. So you can either click that or if for some reason you're closed out of that, you can just click description and backward slash and then you will see a pop up right here. You can say write with AI and then say write me copy or a full media post about like, I'll also use the prompt here. There we go. So if you like this, but you can elaborate on it if you want, but uh, if you like where it's at, then just go ahead and hit insert and it's going to be right there in your description for you. Super simple and easy and productive. I just want to touch on help really quick. It's pretty simple. It's really just help for anything within ClickUp. If you don't know how to do something, don't know where to find something, nothing knows ClickUp better than ClickUp Brain. So if you're lost, just come here. Something like, again, there's some prompts. How do I set up my team's workspace? It's going to give you a nice little layout of instructions on how to do something. So if you're ever lost, you don't know what to do, instead of going to YouTube or something, just come directly to help within ClickUp Brain. Now that I've touched on all of these, I want to scroll down and check out another feature down here that I really love, and that's write a stand-up. A stand-up in this sense is essentially a meeting without a meeting. It's going to track all your progress, see where you're at, maybe give you a bullet-pointed list of things that need to get done, something that you can just use for yourself or maybe send it off to one of your team leads. A team lead could send it to you. It's really a great way to just stay on track and see what your progress is. So let's check it out. I'm gonna create one for me. Let's say, let's do it for this week and I want a bulleted list and let's generate it. Oh, so this is everything that I worked on this week, maybe things that need to get done, things I didn't do. Really great way for me to stay on track and see what is ahead for me. So I think that's a really great start for getting going with ClickUp Brain. Obviously, there's so much you can do with it, but it really depends on what you actually need it to do for you. So I highly encourage you to get in there, play around with it, and see what you actually need it for. Before we finish up, I want to touch on one more subject, and that's just how accessible it is throughout the ClickUp workspace. So if we close out of here, first thing you'll notice is in this bottom right corner, you will see the little star logo, and if you hover over it, it's going to give you some prompts. You can also click it and you're gonna get another menu. 
Not quite the same as the other hub, but still a good menu to get started with. One of the spaces you'll find it in is up here in this top box. It's always going to be there no matter where you're at in the ClickUp workspace. And this is your main hub. So you can see we get back to where we were earlier. There's another logo right here. Just look for the stars. Again, another small menu. And then we went over already how it's inside your tasks in your description. So if you just go in, if I already have content in there, it's not gonna prompt you to write with AI. So if you wanna find it again, all you have to do is hit that backwards slash. So let's see. And it's always gonna pop up right here. And then let's close out of this. Now, if we go up to our docs on the left side and go into create a doc, you will notice that you can actually use it within docs as well, where it says write with AI. So lots of options, find it anywhere. There's another one down here. It's going to give you some prompts play around with it and see what you get because it's so easily accessible should be no reason not to. And that is it for today. Thank you all for being here. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more no code solutions and tips. As always, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Don't forget we are ClickUp Verified Consultants and we are here to help with all your no code needs. If you want more company information or you want to schedule a discovery call, you will find the links below in the description. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one and happy learning.